my wife's 2014 Forester XT, which is the turbo, the 2.0 turbo, is showing a crankshaft position um, sensor problem, right? And it's not on right now, but what will happen is it'll turn off, check engine light will come on and it'll turn off all the uh, safety features, including uh, traction control. First thing you're gonna wanna do is uh, check your gas cap. Uh, but you know, we're at 180,000 kilometers now. At 140,000, it had the exact same problem. I cleared the code and put in a new gas cap and it went away. I've done that again and it's not clearing it, so I'm actually gonna change the sensors. This is a super quick recap, kind of a reverse order of where the four camshaft position sensors are also called the crankshaft position sensors are located on a 2014 to 2020 Forester XT 2.0 turbo. Take off the uh, engine splash guard, also take off your splash guard underneath. Watch the rest of the video for how to do that. The first one you're gonna find is on the driver's side, kind of next to your oil filler cap. 10 millimeter bolt, electrical plug in the back. Second one is on the passenger side, the front of the engine, right? There's your electrical plug, there's a 10 millimeter bolt. Underneath on the passenger side, let's grab my flashlight here and go crawl down onto the floor. Make sure you put down some cardboard or something. Uh, you'll spot it right there. Again, your 10 millimeter bolt and your electrical plug. That's uh, right underneath the one on the top. But you do need to remove this metal splash guard. It's held on by 10, sorry, six 10 millimeter bolts and about four plastic rivets. All right, swivel around to this other side. Sorry, hiding behind your lower rad hose here is the fourth one, which is that guy right there with the 10 millimeter bolt. Right there. And the electrical plug on it. So keep watching and I'll show you how to change the top two and I'll also change these bottom two. The first one you're gonna find is on the driver's side, kind of next to your oil filler cap. 10 millimeter bolt, electrical plug in the back. Uh, go ahead and put a 10 millimeter socket on the end of an extension. Uh, mine's already, already popped it loose. And then you're just gonna wanna remove that bolt and the whole thing will come up. Careful not to drop the bolt. So what you're gonna wanna do to get the clip off is just put your thumb on the back of it because you push it down and then you can wiggle it back and forth until it comes off. And then you don't need to get it all the way off, but get it started. And once you pop it out, it looks like this. And just note there is a little rubber gasket on it. So make sure the one you pop out has a little O-ring seal there. Uh, the new one, just ordering on autopartsway.ca. It's a Mitsubishi part, which is interesting. Second one is on the passenger side, the front of the engine, right? There's your electrical plug, there's a 10 millimeter bolt. Underneath on the passenger side, let's grab my flashlight here. You're gonna wanna drive your car up onto some ramps or jack it up, put jack stands underneath it. Make sure you block the back tires because this is the guy you need to get off. You're going to remove six 10 millimeter bolts. There's five here because I noticed these are all the same length. But then when removing uh, this guy over here, he's shorter. So just note there is one uh, short bolt, which is this one right here. Uh, because there's not very much clearance on the on the back side. After you get your six bolts out, right, you'll notice there's that little guy at the end. You're also going to have to pop out these four kind of plastic rivets. Just use a flathead screwdriver. I already popped out the two at the front, but there's also two at the back. And hopefully then this should come down. I'll let you know in a minute. To pop these out, take a little flathead screwdriver. Find the little notches here. Stick it in. Wiggle it back and forth because you gotta take up the middle so that the whole thing comes out. Uh, oftentimes they break, but you can find them real cheap on eBay. So just pop that guy out. Do the same on the other side. There we go. Uh, it looks mostly intact. If you break it, you'll notice because the little prongs will be gone, but this will just go back in just like that. So I got the ones off on this side as well. One back here and one up here. To be honest, I don't know why it has bolts and plastic rivets. Seems kind of redundant. Uh, when you do remove it, you're gonna have to kind of 
push that out of the way and don't be under it. Uh, otherwise, you're gonna fall on your head. So there's a good uh, <laughs> safety tip for you. Okay, with the uh, splash guard out of the way, I can easily see uh, the other camshaft position sensor on the passenger side, which is uh, this guy right here. So nice and easily accessible. I'll just back up here so you can see where that is in relation to the uh, the car. All right, it's just that guy, the one 10 millimeter bolt. Let's spin around on my back here, grinding on all these nice rocks that fell down that were stuck underneath the uh, splash guard. Oh yeah, that's nice. Sorry, hiding behind your the lower rad hose here is the fourth one, which is that guy right there with the 10 millimeter bolt. Right there. And the electrical plug on it. So I used the 10 millimeter with a swivel head and an extension to get this bolt out. Uh, once it pops out and your electrical connector is off, it just pulls out. So just pop it out. I'll probably need two hands for this, so I'm gonna stop the video. All right, that's what it looks like when it pops out. There's your rubber O-ring on it. Now that's the hole. So the passenger side's much easier to get off on underneath here. Again, always remove, uh, I'll have to switch hands here. The electrical connector first. Don't even need a swivel head for this guy, just direct shot. And we'll take it out here in a second. Okay, I really wanted to point something out. That's it took me a good half an hour of trying to get this clip off uh, the passenger lower side of the camshaft position sensor. So what I had to do at the end of the day is stick a screwdriver in there to lift up the little clip because if anyone knows of a tool that can you can use to push down on these clips uh, and push back, let me know because uh, my both my thumbs really, really hurt now. And again, the only way I could get it off is by sticking a screwdriver in here because there's a little tab that you flip up uh, to get this to unlock from the sensor. Otherwise, it just stays on there. All right, so you see from the inside, that's that little tab right there that you're trying to lift up to free it uh, from the little prongs that are at the end of the sensor. There's two prongs there. And uh, if you're like me and have a hard time fitting your thumb in there, pushing this down, this one's really stiff for some reason. You see how when you push on it, it goes up a little bit. So the other way to tackle it is to stick a little screwdriver in the front end this way to lift this tab up and then either pull or you know tap on it with another screwdriver on the side to wiggle it free. There's your rubber O-ring on it. 